I have a President's Award for Achievement. Is Jim Jarvis here by any chance? Yeah, we've well, got to hear about this anyway. Jim Jarvis, and I remember Jim Jarvis is recognized for the display of four car bien, which was a 15 foot tall, four inch diameter, 91 pound, two stage rocket on September 30th, sorry, September 20th, 2013. The flight set a new record for FAA's Class II sport rockets, that's commercial motors, uh, the kind of rockets anybody, you and I could go out and buy one, no we couldn't, but you could go out and buy one of these um, using commercially available motors, and, about, and he, was about, he had about 20% of the maximum committed total impulse to spare. He achieved a confirmed altitude of 118,632 feet above ground level, which is over 22 miles. If you go to NARP page, you have awards, right? You got one mile awards, I'm on there, you know, two mile awards, three mile awards, 22 mile awards. Jim's not going to touch that. So it went 2,049 miles per hour, which is Mach 2.7. He used a Cessaroni N5800 to boost your a Cessaroni N1100 to sustainer. He carried a GPS receiver, three transmitters, four altimeters, two timers, a tilt-ometer, and a video recorder sending a new standard of accomplishment for the support rocketry community, so we'll be sending him that. That's amazing. Wow. And a President's Award for Service to Tom Todd Schwein, who is recognized for his efforts as the publisher of all of our publications, Support Rocketry, the NAR Member Guidebook, and the Model Rocketeer. Todd has been doing this job for 18 years. He's worked tirelessly to ensure that the best and now only Rocketry Magazine uh, is, is ours, and all of our other publications reach you on time every time. A longtime NAR member and competitor, the first article he published that I could find was in 1980. Todd's efforts set a standard of service to the NAR that we all look up to. So, that have an element of severe time criticality, right? The kind of job that requires daily attention to email, sometimes significant effort on a little notice in order to solve a critical problem or get something done in time for a deadline, and the NAR website requires that effort. Bruce Canino has supported the website for more than five years, the last three is Webmaster, and as we finally move to a new uh, architecture that will allow our volunteers to maintain their own content, it's fitting to recognize Bruce for his efforts doing all of our work uh, in the interim. We may not we may all be graphic scientists, but many of us find out the hard way we're not graphic masters. <laughs> uh, Bruce has served us tirelessly to do that, so thank you. The award I want to give out is the 2014 Howard Galloway Service Award, and this is to Dr. John Langford. Dr. John Langford has been a significant supporter of the U.S. team in the FAI International Competition for over 12 years. In addition to chairing the NARS International Competition Committee, he's a member of the Board of Directors of the National Aeronautics Association, he's on the advisory board for the Museum of Flight, and a member of the Executive Committee of Chart Co sponsor Aerospace Industry. That ensures that all of rocketry and the NAR are strongly represented in these forums. He represents the NAR at the International FAI Commission on Aero Modeling Meetings. In addition to all that, John, through his company, Aurora Space Sciences, is a very generous, very generous financial contributor to the US FAI team. He also contributes his time. He has personally been involved with the team as manager at international competitions since 2002, the juniors in 2002 and four, the seniors in eight, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So NAR will be sending a record-sized delegation to Bulgaria in the next month or so for the 2014 Internet. And we all owe a debt of gratitude to John Mayer for his efforts in that. I made this for uh, Gary Rosenfeld. This is uh, his Howard Galloway Service Award from 1989. His original burnt up in the fire, so I made him a new one. And usually we do this, right? We have a nice space, space kind of a theme with a picture and, and all that. So John, we did a little differently. You'll see this in a minute. John, we have the seven teams that he's been on in the last several years that he's 
help sponsor. So this will be for John when uh, we get a chance to do that for him in person. That's cool. We decided this NARAM to give a special award to everyone who manages to qualify in every event, which is way harder than it sounds. So I put them all on the next slide. So if you're so I'm Allison Ashley, Dan Alway, Robert Alway, Jim Basham, John Buckley, John Snipper, Tim Van Milligan, Pod Bay Doors, and Dry Woodland Burks. Come on down.
And here we go for first place, Aram Champ at C Division. John Stenberg, 7,000. <laughs> Hey, you had a great flight and crash something. So 
pat yourself on the back for that. As with every year, we've got to give something that wasn't rocketry related. So this year's uh, starting point goes to Randy Bowie and Ed LaCroix, who get the I Can't Drive 55 award. They <laughs> both can pull over on the way to there because they couldn't get their skin. Charlotte, congratulations. 
I've got a picture of that rocket. Yeah. You see it twisting on the rod and keep going off. Uh, somebody tried to take out my truck yesterday. Thank you very much. 
for doing this, and I hope the rest of you can thank you as well.
Bill.